So in this example, we're going to look at a plot of a signal of x of t, and we're going to construct an equation for that signal x of t using unit step and unit ramp functions. So signal construction number one. So by construction, I just mean let's construct an equation or an expression that represents a given signal. So the signal x of t that we're going to work with in this problem looks like the following. It's this blue curve right here. That is x of t. And what we are asked to do is we are asked to write x of t in terms of unit step and unit ramp functions. So uh, obviously, first of all, you know, you can't use unit step and unit ramp functions to describe every single signal. But when you're given a signal that has a look like this, which is comprised of steps, obviously, and things that slope with certain slopes, obviously um, you should be able to decompose this into a summation of time-shifted steps and ramp functions. So that's what we're going to do in this problem. So what I want to be able to do is I would like to be able to write an equation, x of t equals, and then the goal of this problem is to fill in what goes here. And the way that we're going to do this is basically starting here on the left side of the axis, we're going to walk towards the right, and each time the signal changes, we're going to think about what do I need to write down in my equation to account for that change. So the first part right here is at negative time, the signal is zero, and then at time zero, we step up to one. So that should sound pretty familiar. That should sound like a unit step function. So the first thing I'm going to write down is the unit step function. We know that the unit step function stays constant for all time with the value of one. So it would just keep going for forever in this direction so that we know this isn't the final answer, but u of t at least gets us the correct part of the signal for times zero to one. The next thing that happens is right here at time one. At time one, all of a sudden we start increasing linearly with time. We start ramping up. If you take the time to compute the slope, we see that this increase has a slope of one. So it's like at time one, a unit ramp function has turned on. So we can represent that by plus r of t minus one. This ramp function turns on at time one, so it's r of t minus one. So that will get us through this linear increase between times one and two. What happens at time two? At time two, we start going the other direction. We had a slope of one. Now we have a slope of minus one. Between times two and three, we're actually going down with a slope of minus one. So the difference was a slope of one to a slope of minus one is a change of minus two. So we need to do something right here at time two that has a net effect of changing the slope by negative two. Well, I know how to do that. Ramps, we ha have unit slope. So if I was to multiply a ramp by 2, it would have a slope of 2. I want it to have a slope of minus 2. So if I subtract off a ramp at this point in time with a factor of minus 2, that will impart the change in slope that I need. So that's what I'm going to do right there. I'm going to subtract off minus 2 times a ramp function. And that ramp function, we need to turn on right there. So this will be r of t minus 2 to make it turn on at that time. So that takes care of times two to three. At time three, we level off. So we had a slope of minus one. During this time interval, we have a slope of zero. So we went from minus one to zero. So that's a change of plus one slope. So at time three, I need to add in a ramp function to account for that change. So plus r of t minus three. That takes care of times three to four. And then what happens right here at time four? we instantaneously jump up a value of one. We're at one, we jump to one, so I'm going to go up there by a unit step. I'm gonna step up by an amount of one, and this occurs at time four. So u of t minus four. So that now gets me to this value, and I can hold that from times four to five. And then finally at time five, I need to step down two. I had a value of two that I was holding, I need to step down to zero and hold that. So at time five, I need to step down two. So that's minus two u of t minus five. So this is what I'm claiming is an equation for this signal right here. And you basically just start at the left and work your way to the right. And for signals that are comprised of steps and ramps, you can always do this type of process to write a nice equation for the signal. One thing I like to do when I'm done with problems like this is I like to do a little check. So I like to go back and let's compute some values from my expression 
and make sure that those match what I see in the picture that I was given. So for instance, let's go ahead and compute, based on our equation, what x of 2 is. So I'm going to let t equals 2, so this will be u of 2, and this will be plus r of 1 when t is 2, 2 minus 1 is 1, and this will be minus 2 times r0, plus 3 times r times minus 1, 2 minus 3 is a negative 1, plus u of minus 2, minus 2 of negative 3. So if we look at this, we know that the unit step evaluated at negative time is 0, so that term is 0, so that term is 0. Ramps are also off for negative time, so that's 0. The ramp at time 0 is equal to 0, so all these terms go away. And what I'm left with is the unit step at time 2 is equal to 1, and the ramp at time 1 is equal to 1, so I get 2. So let's come over here to our plot at time 2, the figure that we were given originally is equal to 2. So hey, guess what? That checks. We can do another one if we want. We can check what happens at time 5. At time 5, that's u of 5, plus r of 4, minus 2 times r of 3, plus r of 2, plus u of 1, plus u of 0. And if we evaluate what these are, the unit step at time 5 is equal to 1. The ramp at time 4 is equal to 4. Remember, the r of t is equal to t for time greater than or equal to zero, so you just replace whatever you see here right there. Minus two times three plus two, the unit step at time one is equal to one, and minus two times the unit step at time zero is equal to one. If we simplify this a little bit, this turns into five minus six plus two plus one minus two, which is equal to zero, which is exactly what we have in our figure. So this obviously doesn't check every single point in the plot, but when you're done it's nice to check a few points to make sure you don't have any um, noticeable errors in your equation for the signal.